So, Em, what do you think about the teens coming? Them not to want to do anything. What's going to happen if they don't listen? Get in trouble. They're going to get in trouble. Oh, my god. Did I get myself into, man? Yeah, that's it. Let's go see. Let's go see. God. It's all gross. Are you serious? Look at the dad. He looks like a straight up <laughs> When I saw the dad, it reminded me of the Incredible Hulk. Hi, guys. What's up? First impression of the teen boy was 110 pounds of attitude. I didn't know how he could tote it all. I'm Mr. Pat. I'm Tyler. Mr. Pat was just so stiff and scary looking. Hi, I'm Mr. Jake. I'm Let's Tyler. Go with this Tyler, one. nice to meet you. Hi, Hi Jake. This is Addie. Nice to meet you. Hi. This looks like a strict family. These kids look miserable. We're going to go inside real quick. So bring your stuff and come on up the front door. The first thing that we wanted to do when the kids got here. All right, come on in. Put your suitcases there, please. Was go over our house rules with them. It teaches the kids right from wrong. Everyone around here chips in. This is not a sit on the couch kind of place. There is absolutely no lying, no smoking. And show respect to the people in our home. And then there's no cussing and no back talking. When he was talking to us about the rules, I thought this guy was going to be a pain in my ass. So you're going to sign that we have gone over these rules. The fact is that even though I signed this rules paper, signatures don't mean anything. They can't shove it up their ass for all they want. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the trust issue. Do you have anything in your bags, cigarettes, Tyler's face was like, oh, no. She knew she was in trouble at that point. Do you have anything in your bag? OK. What do you have in your bag? Nothing. OK, well, let's get it out and let's look at it. He didn't say, do you have anything in your pockets or in your possession on you? He just said your bags. So I told him the truth. Who packed this? I did. You did? I don't fold clothes. Now, why don't you come over here for me? I haven't checked what you got in your pockets. Let me see what's in your pockets, little brother. Let me see that. What's in this one? Okay. You really brought cigarettes into my home? Yes, I did. <laughs> this is going in the trash. We found the tin of cigarettes. Jacob started off on the wrong foot with me. That dude ripped up my case. He threw away my liar. He ripped up all my cigarettes. He has no right to take my away. Nothing in here I'm going to find? Really? You smoke, too? Thank you for being honest. That goes a long way. All right, so while you and I go do our lap, why don't you get her situated, and then we'll be back. I'll show you to your room. The slosh pipe looks simple and harmless but it's half filled with water. And so the water goes from end to end, and it is incredibly tough to hold. You're going to give me one lap. You're going to walk from here all the way around. Now, you being a skater, you should be pretty strong. I use my legs. OK. So go ahead and give me a lap all the way around. All right, hold up right there. Right now, I hate Pat. He's a bitch. Hopefully, you'll never pick that up again. I think Jacob will think twice about lying to me again. Yeah, how do you live with that? How do you live with you killed your sister? If you keep going, it is going to happen. It's like pulling teeth to try to get Jacob to do anything. I'll help you eventually. By then, it will probably already be done. Then it gets done. If I keep pushing it, he'll go out and smoke. 